She's quite a happy little girl, just hoping that we can get her a perfect family. There's actually some hard lumps present. Can you, can you feel those? Oh, God, yeah. She is clearly a dog that's been bred a lot. It just doesn't look good. It absolutely could be cancer. In North London, Scott's answering a call from rescue charity All Dogs Matter. They've given me a call because they're really worried about a Staffordshire Bull Terrier called Rosa. So I need to go up to investigate and I really hope there's something that I can do to help. Hi, Hi. Scott. Hi, Sonia. Animal rescuer Hello. Sonia yeah, is waiting for Scott. I'm fine, thank now, you. Now here you've got a pretty sad case to, to come and see me today. Yes, you're here to see Rosa. I'd love to see Lovely you. Lovely little Staffy, but good. in quite a bad way. Oh dear. Today, there's a full house of abandoned dogs which need new homes. Wow, you've got lots of dogs in at the moment, haven't you? We have. We've got a few puppies in. Yeah. And then we've got Rosa up here. Hello, Rosa. Hey, Rosa. Hello, beautiful girl. How are you? Rosa was picked up by the dog warden after being found wandering the streets of London. Hello, gorgeous. So yet again, another stray Staffy, hey? Very yeah. over overrepresented breed, aren't they? Unfortunately, it's very common with Staffies. Most of the dogs that come into rescues are Staffies yeah. or Staffy types. I think Staffies get dumped so often in rescue centres because the people that think that's a perfect dog for them are not getting them for all the right reasons. People should want a dog for the companionship, for the love and the affection that the dog gives. But some staffy owners see them as literally a status symbol. They haven't thought about all the welfare needs that this dog has, and very quickly they realise that they can't keep the dog. They then throw it into a rescue centre, and that's where they languish. She's very, very happy. Yeah, well, they're very, very thin. Look at all those yeah. ribs, Rosa, hey? You need some feeding up, don't you, my love? I don't understand people that can dump their dogs. I can't get my head around it at all. Rehome it the proper way. There's people around to help these days. You don't need to abandon your dogs. Hey, look at you. Aren't you just lovely? Oh, lovely stuffy smile. Look at that big smile you've got, hey? She's quite a happy little girl. I'm just hoping that we can get her a perfect family. But first, Scott is giving Rosa a total health check. Apart from being underweight and suffering superficial skin problems, Scott soon discovers a far more worrying issue. There's actually some hard lumps present along the strip of mammary tissue here. Can you, can you feel those? Oh God, yeah, I can really feel really hard lump. Yeah. So basically, she's got lumps in her breast, which, uh, you know, for any, any female is, is concerning. Mm. It's not something that we can just quickly remove and go, oh yes, that will be absolutely fine. We need to look into this, understanding Mm -hmm. what kind of lumps they are and whether they'll affect her future. Okay. Scott is guessing that Rosa is about eight years old. It appears she has been used for excessive breeding before being dumped. Overbreeding is fairly common in Staffies, unfortunately. They are bred by unscrupulous breeders. They are bred every single season, so that means every six months these poor dogs can be having yet another litter of puppies. So I think what we're going to have to do is take you to Leafy Richmond, check her over and see how she's going and make sure that she is going to have yeah. her forever home. Oh, thank you. Hey. Rose is going to make a perfect pet for somebody. I love her, really love her. I'd love to take her home myself. Yeah, that's a killer. That's, that's a killer a bike dog, is, isn't it? Bike is. oh. <laughs> see you soon. So do you want to come back to Richmond with me? Hey, beautiful Leafy Richmond. Hey, or do you want to crawl back to Richmond? I think she does. <laughs> Crawling back to Richmond, it's a bit of a distance. Come this way. Come on, Rosa. Let's go meet the team, shall we? Oh, you're keen. Come here. Scott's arrived back in Richmond with little Rosa, rescue dog Rosa. Rosa. Hi, hi, Rosa. The friendly hi. staffy hi. is an oh instant hit God. with receptionist Kirsty. <laughs> Can you kiss you a kiss? Hey. Sit on my lap. <laughs> you're comfortable. Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? She's beautiful. You're so friendly. I know. All right, well, let's get you off Auntie Kirsty's lap, <laughs> eh, and go and check out those lumps. Come on, Rosa. Oh, bye, Rosa. Good girl. <laughs> Scott's concerned about lumps in Rosa's mammary glands and plans hey to remove Hello. one so it can be tested. Hey. So this is Rosa. Oh, Hi, yeah. Rosa. Oh, good girl. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, hello. Oh, a ball of energy, eh? Hi. Yeah. 
assisting Scotter head nurse Emma and newly graduated vet Riaz. She is clearly a dog that's been bred a lot. Oh, honey. I definitely feel it on my heartstrings when a neglect case comes in. Having animals myself and being such a big animal lover and doing what I do, I just can't put myself in the mindset of other people and how they could want to harm them. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no history. Um, she was just found roaming around and uh, was brought into the rescue centre. You must have had an owner at some point, surely. Mm. All right, guys, well, I'll leave you to get her ready for surgery and I'll be down in just a second. We'll get cracking. Brilliant. Yeah. Well. Good stuff. This is Riaz's first job out of university and already he's discovering plenty of challenges. I'm not really used to seeing rescue dogs because the way that we've been taught is to always get a good history and take it from there. What a brave girl. But when it's a case like Rosie, you just have to sort of do the best you can and, you know, put the animal's needs first. Time to go to sleep, baby. Good girl. We're good to go. All right. So the big concern for this little lady is these memory masses. And we can feel them running up these chains of teats. And unfortunately, now she's knocked out, I can even feel one at this top one. So to remove all of them yeah. is a massive surgery for to undergo. And we don't want to put her through that unless we absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. So what I think we need to do is just take just one of them away. And at the same time, we'll then spay her. And what that will do, of course, is reduce the stimulation to the area. The hormonal exactly. stimulation. Yeah, right. and as a result, hopefully cool down the growth of these masses, whatever they turn out to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most striking thing that we found was the number of masses. Normally, you might find one or two at, a, at a, like a, a dog which is that age, which hasn't been spayed. But to find the sort of number that we did, it was quite striking. Everyone ready to go? OK. Yes. All right, so we just need to keep our wits about us. Scott is carrying out the spaying on Rosa first. Actually, her being quite skinny is quite useful, actually. It's quite easy to see what we need to see. The spaying is routine. OK. I'm happy with that. And Scott can now move on to the lump removal. I should be able to remove that fairly easily, and actually I'm going to do it through the incision line I've already made for the spay. So I'm just going to incise over it now, kind of pop it out like a pea out of a pod. It's very pretty, it's very nice. But now that he can see the lump, Scott is starting to worry that this part of Rose's surgery isn't going to be as straightforward as he'd hoped. Though it feels like it should just pop out, it's very tightly adhered to the tissue surrounding it. So it's, uh, it's very angry looking, very nodular, very hard. It worries me, I've got to be honest. Uh, it just doesn't look good. All right, Riaz, what I need you to do for me is just pop your two fingers underneath and around it. Put a little bit of pressure against it for me. I'm not that happy, if I'm honest, because uh, I was really hoping that it would just be a relatively innocuous looking hard white ball that was just going to pop out and uh, look very, uh, very innocent. But in fact, what I've found is something that looks quite aggressive, just nasty. Okay, all right, there we go. So now we've taken this little bit of tissue out and the lump. What we're going to do is then send it off to the lab. I really don't know what it is right now. It absolutely could be cancer. Oh, that's you get. Good girl. Well done. So there's sort of two types of tumours. The two types that roses could come back as are either benign or malignant. The benign ones don't really spread and do too much damage unless they get really big. The malignant ones have the ability to spread to other tissues and sort of do damage elsewhere, which could compromise Rose's life. Oh, good puppy. This is normally the time we call an owner, but sadly, you don't have one. So I'm just going to have to take on that role for a while, hey? I think while Rosa is here in recovery, she is going to get all the love in the world. The nurses have all fallen in love with her, and already they're dying to go in and give her a cuddle once she's recovered fully. Hey, poor baby. I think we're just going to keep Rosa close by until we can understand what's going on and what we need to do to try and save this beautiful dog. Mm -hmm. Poor Bubba. Yeah, I love you too. Hi, 
How's she going, girls? Hi. She's, uh, yeah, she's very, very flat. Rescue dog Rosa has taken a sudden turn for the worse. The pathology results are back from the suspicious lump that Scott removed from Rosa's breast tissue. All right, there we go. And they show that, as feared, it is cancer. You love a good kiss and a cuddle, don't you? Hmm? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Rosa, our beautiful Staffordshire Bull Terrier, is really not doing too well today. She is flat. Emma's been working with her all through the morning. It's not how I was supposed to be, is it? It's not what we talked about. With Rosa mm -hmm. deteriorating so quickly from the rapidly spreading cancer cells, Scott has taken new x-rays. Sadly, down the bottom here, there is this. And that looks like to be chest met, um, which is a metastasis, which means that the tumours that are present in her breast tissue have spread to her lungs, which is gutting, because it means that no surgery in the world is going to save Rosa. It makes me so angry that someone knew that this dog had those lumps there and simply did nothing about it, because if they did do something about it, then Rosa's life could have been saved, and that is just awful. Hey, beautiful one. Hey. I bet you were a gorgeous little puppy. Mm -hmm. Head nurse Emma and receptionist Kirsty are maintaining a vigil at Rosa's side. You've become such a big part of the family. Everyone has just fallen in love with her, haven't they? <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> I feel really devastated, to be quite honest. You know, I've come to get really quite attached to Rose and, you know, considering adopting her myself, and it's absolutely heartbreaking. Tough decisions will soon have to be made to ensure Rosa doesn't suffer. I think the most important thing that we always have to remember is doing it for her. Yeah, definitely. I don't think this part of the job ever gets any easier. I think it always hurts, and I think the day that it stops, I'm not doing my job right. <laughs> Soon after, Rosa lost her battle. But she leaves a lasting memory. Look at that big smile you've got, hey? Rosa signifies what we all love about dogs, the fact that she gives unconditional love. Oh, good girl. Regardless of her history and what's happened before, she loved us. And uh, I hope that we've given her a little window into how normal dogs live, which is where they're loved. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.